Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how you can automatically send emails for every new record added to Airtable. As we all know, Airtable and Gmail are two different applications and there is no direct connection between Airtable and Gmail. That's why we are going to integrate both of them with the help of an integration software that is Public Connect. So that whenever a new record is created in Airtable, Public Connect will automatically send email via Gmail to same record. And you know what the best part is? This process requires no coding knowledge and any non-technical person can also do this easily. So let's begin with the process. Okay, so this is my air table and here this is the table too and this is my email template view. Okay, so here I'm going to add a new record and we'll see in this email whether we receive the email or not. Okay, so here I'm going to add a new record. Okay, so name is any. Let me just capitalize A, okay. Any Malhotra, okay. And here the type is email, okay. This is email. And here the email template is hello, any. You are invited for webinar. Okay, this is just a random template or this is just a random email. So here the email is Malhotra any 930 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, this is the mail ID. And here the created date. Okay, so this is done. Now I'm going to this Malhotra Annie's ID and we'll see whether we received the email or not. Okay, so going back here and just refreshing it. Okay, so here is the email that is hello any you are invited for webinar. Okay, so this is how the connection works that is Airtable to Gmail. Okay, so now I'm going to initiate the process and going to type pably.com in the new tabs browser that is P-A-B-B-L-Y. Okay, so here P-A-B-B-L-Y dot com press enter. Okay, so this is the site of Pabli. Here you have to click on products and you have to click on connect. Okay, so this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. Here you have to sign in as I have already created my account. That's why I'm directly signing in. You can also create your free account just in two minutes. So sign in. Okay, so this is my account and here I'm going to click on connect access now. Okay, so that's how you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you have to create the workflow with the help of this create workflow button. So just click on it and here you have to name your workflow. So I'm giving it name as Airtable to Gmail. Now click on create. Okay, so this is the name of your workflow and here I would like to mention that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box. You can directly clone it and directly access it into your account. So whenever you will click on this create button, these two windows will appear that is trigger window and this is known as action window. Here you might be thinking what is this trigger or action. So let me tell you automation works on the concept of triggers and action. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Suppose in this use case, whenever a new record is created in Airtable will be a trigger, send email to the same record in the Gmail is the action of this process. Okay, so here we what we are going to do, we are going to make a connection between Airtable and Gmail through Pabli Connect. First, we will connect our Airtable with Pabli Connect, then our Pabli Connect with Gmail. In this manner, we are going to make a connection. Okay, so here in the first trigger application, we have to choose it as Airtable. So here it is Airtable. Okay, now the trigger event. So trigger event is new record in a view. Okay. So here, what we have to do, we have to connect our Airtable with Public Connect. So here, click on this connect button. And here you have to mention the token. So which token? Just go to this section. And here you have to scroll it down. And here is the key. So just copy it. Okay. And go back to Public Connect. And here, the 
token is pasted okay so here it is written already written that login to Airtable and get your api key from the account section so you just have to click on it and you will reach to the api or token section where you will get from this token okay so here click on save okay so here whenever you will click on this save this uh, air table is successfully connected with public connect here in the base table view name trigger field all will be required and i'm going to tell you what to fill in these fields okay now i'm going back to this my air table account here and here i have already created this table that is air table email records okay in a view this is email template is my view and this is grid view okay so here what i'm going to do i'm going to just fill these fields before that let me just mention that all the fields that were visible there okay so here in the public connect first we have to add the name of our base okay so how many bases are there in your that uh, air table account all will be visible in this section okay in this drop down so i want to create the table in this okay and i have created in this table so yeah this is the base that i want to use and the table so table name will be visible here so my table name is this okay and this is my base name so here in the air table email records i'm going back to this and here i'm going to select this okay now view name which view you are selecting or in which view you are adding the details okay so here going back to this and this is my view name that is email template okay so i'm going back to this public connect and here it is the email template thing okay now trigger field you have to make a trigger field like created so i'm going back to this air table and here i have already created but how you have to create you just have to click on this plus button and you have to add here as created okay this is created and you have to just scroll it down and here it is created time okay so this is done and you have to select the format whichever you want and here you have to just add the time format and create field okay so here as i have already created that's why it is not taking so yeah this is done that's how you will be able to create this created field okay so going back to this public connect and here i'm going to click on save and send test request before that i'm going to add some data here okay here okay here i'm adding a data some random data that is saloni sharma type is email okay and here the email template hello saloni welcome to the company this is some kind of random email okay and the email is saloni s695 at the rate gmail.com okay so this entry is done now i'm going back to this public connect and here i'm going to click on save and send test request okay so yeah we have completed and we have received the details that we filled in this Airtable email template view. Okay, here we have added the filters and you are already aware but still I'm going to show you the filter is where it name is not empty and type is email and email template is not empty and email is not empty. Okay, so there is the filter and I'm going back to this public connect here. I have got all the details, name, the email template, the email ID and the created time. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I have successfully connected my Airtable with public connect. Now I'm going to connect public connect with Gmail. So in order to connect it, I'm going to choose an action application that is Gmail. Okay, this is Gmail. So here we have chosen action application. Now action event is send an email. Now you have to connect your Gmail with public connect. For that you have to click on connect and here connect with Gmail. Okay, so here it will ask from which account you want to send the email. So I'm choosing this account because I want to send from this account. Okay. 
and here public connect will ask for the access and permission so you can easily give access to public connect as it is 100% safe to use so click on allow okay so authorization is successful that means we have successfully connected public connect with gmail okay now here again many fields are visible that is recipient name email address sender name sender email address and everything that we want to fill here okay so now here i'm going to fill the recipient name okay now how these are all the details that can be mapped okay from where let me just scroll up okay so these details can be easily mapped down because we are sending these details to our action application okay so here whenever you will click on this particular field you will be able to see the fields or details okay so here i'm going to write the recipient name that is Saloni Sharma okay I'm going to map it I've mapped it and the email address so email address is again visible here this is the email address okay now here send a name suppose it is Ashi Rai okay and here the sender email address is Ashi Rai 824 at the rate gmail.com okay so now it is done and here two fields are still left i guess three okay so reply to email address i'm not very interested so email subject we can add it anything like uh, we can add it as welcome email okay so this is done and now i'm going to add the email content so here it is visible let me just scroll it down okay this is here that is hi hello saloni welcome to the company okay so now i'm going to click on the save and send test request and we'll see the email of saloni whether she received the same kind of mail or not okay so here i'm going to click on save and send test request okay so the status is sent that means we have successfully sent the email from here now i'm going to that uh, email id and we'll see whether we received the same email or not okay okay so here and this is the gmail okay so here from ashirai we have received this welcome email that is hello saloni welcome to the company okay so that's how we have connected Airtable with gmail okay so here in the Airtable we have made an entry and here from sorry this one okay and here we have received the same email now here in the public connect window i'm going to just minimize these two these two action window and this is trigger window okay so let me just minimize okay so what we have done basically here we have successfully connected Airtable with public connect then we have connected public connect with gmail in this manner we have made a connection between Airtable and gmail and not just these two software you can integrate multiple application and automate your business with public connect link of public connect and this workflow is given in the description for any queries contact us at admin at the rate pabli .com, that is p-a-b-b-l-y dot com if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching